Blessed Wednesday everyone. Welcome po sa ating uh, daily devotions. And as I have announced yesterday, we are using now uh, this devotional material, Mornings with Tozer. Kasi natapos na natin yung devotional material ni A.W. Tozer. And so today being a Wednesday, we will be looking at the entry or the um, devotion for March 24. And the title for today's devotion is Born of God. Ang Bible reading po is Hebrews 9.12 By His own blood He entered in once into the holy place. Then Tozer writes, I think most of us remember with assurance the words of the Charles Wesley hymn which was his own personal testimony. His spirit answers to the blood and tells me I am born of God. Wesley testified here and in many other hymns to an inner illumination. Sandali po, sa sandali po. Um, to, those, to, to those of us who are believers of Christ, those who have been born again, um, we have an understanding. It's not because because of this date, we wrote it in our, in our Bibles, ito nyari, June 1st, uh, 1983 perhaps, Um, some of you may have remember that uh, as as your um, spiritual birth, but more than the date, we have an understanding. God has given us quote unquote nisalabi ni Tozer an illumination as to uh, uh, how we are sure and certain that we are saved. Ako po na unawaan ko na ako iligtas, so nakita ko talaga ng makasalanan ako at kailangan ko talaga pagligtas. Before kasi akala ko ang mga ginagawa ko noon would merit eternal life but then again I look at scripture sabing ganon uh, my righteousness would just be filthy rags all have swerved away no one understands all have sinned diba? and fall short of the glory of God and then when I realized that and I came to uh, the, the sense of wanting to be saved because my good works are not enough at nung ako po'y sumuko sa ating Panginoong Diyos, uh, uh, when I, when I uh, surrendered my life to Him and, and trusted in His finished work, nagkaroon ako ng um, assurance that I was saved indeed. Right? So, it, it doesn't matter if you know uh, the date wherein you think that you got saved. What matters most is not the date. What matters most is that inner promptings. Yung sinabi ni A.W. Tozer, yung illumination in our hearts that we know that we have been saved. Right? Masabi niya rito, when I became, A.W. Tozer, when I became a Christian, no one had to come to me and tell me what Wesley meant. That is why Jesus thought that whoever is willing to do His will shall have a revelation in his own heart. He shall have an inward revelation that tells him he is a child of God. And again, sa akin po, naunawaan ko yon nung nakita ko ang lubos na pangangailangan ko sa tagapaglitas at nung uh, isinuko ko ang aking buhay kay Kristo Jesus. Uh, then and then I understood, well, I'll be safe kasi it's no longer I uh, um, who's trying to save me. God has done that for me already. And I, I, all I need to do is to trust that finished work. But of course, again, um, hindi na nga hulugan na sinasabi nito na uh, pagkatapos noon ay magpapatuloy tayo ngayon, ah, maayos ng buhay. No, it's a struggle. It's a marathon. It's not a 100-meter uh, um, sprint or 50-meter dash, Right? Ang Christian life po is a journey. It's a an ongoing sanctification from one glory to another. It's it's a process by which we are being molded and in, in, um, transformed into the likeness of Christ. Right? Pero alam natin in our hearts that there is indeed a, an understanding that we are saved. Well, to those na walang assurance, maybe... Uh, to begin with, maybe they're not reading their Bibles regularly because as you read Scripture, that is when we understand that is through which God is is um, assuring us of our salvation. 
right? So sabi ni Tozer, too many persons try to make Jesus Christ a convenience. They reduce him simply to a big friend who will help us when we are in trouble. Totoo po yun. Sadly, that, that is the trend right now. Um, Jesus is the big genie whom we call upon when we need help. Jesus is the big healer and He is dear ones. Huwag niyo pong isipin na hindi ko, naiisip, na, na hindi ko pinapadampartayaan yun. But then again, if you go to Jesus for healing and not uh, loving the healer, then you have we have totally missed the point. Go, people go to Jesus for provision and yet forgetting that He is more than enough. Right? I'm not saying we don't go to Jesus for healing and ask Him to heal. I don't say, I'm not saying that we don't go to Jesus to ask for provision. All I'm saying is that, that dapat, remember last Sunday, um, kadalasan po, utilitarian ang ating relasyon sa Diyos. We go to Him because of our needs. And that's not bad in and of itself. Pero, Guardahan din natin kasi um, God desires to give us more than that. He desires to have a loving relationship with us. Right? Sabi po ni Tozer, that is not biblical Christianity. When, when you we treat Jesus as simply a big friend who will help us in our troubles. Jesus Christ is Lord. And when an individual comes in repentance and faith, the truth flashes in. And you can recall what happened to you when you did that. In repentant faith, you came to Him. Sa akin po nangyari, wow! Yung ginawa ko pa all throughout my life. Uh, yung mga good works na ginawa ko, yung mga ritual na ginawa ko para sa Diyos, para maligtas ako, they are nothing. And thank you, Lord, na it, it, ikaw na pala gumano, the finished work, your perfect a uh, person was enough they, they, they are enough your person and work I, I cannot save myself for the first time he finds himself saying I will do the will of the Lord even if I die for it um, m- many people desire and, and profess to be believers of Christ yet um when it comes to li- counting the cost and um, facing hardships for him and, and s- struggles for him or to the point of even being persecuted for him, nagkakaalaman po. Ako po, ang desire ng heart ko is that um, I would grow more in love with God that when the time comes when I would choose him rather than life. We, we don't know, dear ones. Ngayon, hindi tayo napapersikit dito sa Pilipinas eh. Hindi ganun ka dala. In other countries, I mean, you can get in prison. You, you, some people can put you to prison for preaching the gospel. I'm assessing myself. Am I ready for that? I think I am. But I think I need more grace. Um kung sakasakaling umabot sa punto na am I willing to die for him? Right here, right now, I think I am. And because I love him so much. But um, it takes maturity. It takes uh, knowing God intimately and knowing His Word with, with passion to to have that conviction. Ang prayer ko po para sa ating lahat is that we would come to the point that we would be ready. Dear ones, in the world, there will be troubles. And, yun ang tawag sa atin eh. Diba? Um, are we better than our master? Those who desire to live God, the lives will be persecuted. Sabi po ng Biblia. And, I pray that as early as now, habang wala pa, I pray that we, we would um, strive to, to learn more, to mature more, to grow more in love with God and His Word, to prove, first and foremost, that we indeed are born of God and are people of God and those who love God and willing to live for Him, even die for Him. Right? Ang ganda nitong ating uh, devotional. 
it's telling us who the born the real born of God people are right? those who by God's grace understand that they are saved not by their good works but by God's grace those who persevere and are sanctified by God's grace being more like him every day as they abide in God and abide in his word those who are willing to live for him even die for him if that is what he so wills right sige po let's uh, close again in devotion natin lagi may ending prayer let's let's look at the prayer and then let's pray this prayer lord i pray today for friends and family who may be questioning their relationship with you draw them to yourself heavenly father wow simple lang pero profound pray tayo Yes, Lord, indeed, thank you for the grace that you have bestowed upon us to um, even have the faith to um, believe in you. That alam po namin, or no, we cannot. We simply cannot. We are dead in our trespasses. But God, being rich in mercy, made us alive and poured upon us love uh, Christ Jesus. And that makes the good news even greater and amazing news, Lord. At times, we just know that this is good news without understanding the bad news. Kaya siya good news kasi ang bad news, hindi kami pwedeng maligtas apart you, from you working. And we thank you, Lord, for that great, great news. Salamat po ng marami dahil kaakibat po ng good news na yan. It's not just you saving us, it's you sanctifying us. You um, working in and through the divine providences that you have laid upon our path, struggles, uh, victories, lahat po ng mga pangyayari sa buhay namin ay opportunity for us to grow and mature in you. And as we ponder upon these truths, Lord, dalangin namin, Lord, kagaya ng prayer na inutter dito sa devotion na to, we pray for family and friends who may not have um, uh, put their trust in you yet. Dalangin namin, Panginoon Diyos, as um, small as we may be, we pray that you would use us in spite of us para makita po ng mga mahal namin sa buhay ng mga ito na tutupo ang Ibanghelyo. We pray that we may be the good news that they would see and read. Oh, loving God, we pray that you would save them, give them faith, and allow them, Lord, to understand that their dire need for a sinner to, to have a Savior. Samantalang kami po ay magpapatuloy sa buhay namin ngayong Merkulis. We continue to ask for your blessing upon us, protection, Lord, and pro- preservation from this virus. And we pray that you give us stamina, Lord, as well. Nakakapagod kasi minsan pag-iisipin. Pero Lord, dalangin namin po, Panginoon, ng inyong pong pagapala sa amin as we live for you and just um, shout out uh, your fame. May we be a living testimony of your great news indeed, O God. Dalangin ko po ang inyong pong, uh, pagsama sa amin, even as we uh, worship you later tonight, sa aming midweek, even though it's gonna be recorded, we pray na tulungan nyo kami, Panginoon, na uh, papaurihan pa rin namin kayo sa mga ginagawa namin ito. We thank you again, Lord, for everything. We praise you, we honor you, we magnify your name, and we thank you. We love you, Lord. This is our prayer with much thanksgiving. Sa pangalan ni Cristo Jesus, Amen at Amen. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you all tomorrow or mamaya kung kaya niyo po makakasama sa live stream or, or sa video uh, um, midweek celebration. Ingat kayo po. God bless.